But first, why don't we take a look at an amazing invisibility cloak? Why don't we? Because it's invisible, of course. <laughs> Over to you, Ashley, my dear. Why, thank you. Now, watch carefully, Wallace. You might think invisibility is just a bit of TV trickery or movie special effects magic. But a top British scientist may be able to fix it for real. How about that? Then... Making things invisible depends on fooling our sight, a sense most of us place complete faith in. After all, seeing is believing, isn't it? There were two types of invisibility. The first one is camouflage, where you actually colour yourself to blend in with your background. But then there's what I'd call real invisibility, where you actually take light waves and bend them round an object. So someone behind me will see the light coming from over there, but they won't see me, so I'll effectively be invisible. Bending light sounds impossible. After all, it travels in straight lines, doesn't it? Well, actually, we've all seen instances where light is bent. You can see it when a straight stick is put into water. Suddenly, the stick looks crooked, and that effect is caused by the light from the stick refracting, which means the light changes direction as it comes out of the water. And according to our next amazing inventor, if you can control refraction, it should be possible to make something invisible. We'd done some mathematics for controlling light in, in a very precise and powerful way. And I, I wanted to shock people and actually build an invisibility cloak. Build an invisibility cloak? Surely you'd stitch a cloak together or sew it. Oh, well, I'm sure Sir John knows what he's doing. You need to do something rather extraordinary to bend the light. You've got to return it to exactly the straight line it was travelling in before it encountered your hidden object. Sir John's plan for making a cloak revolved around a special material. Not black velvet, apparently, but this. A complicated man-made material that can be specially engineered to bend light as much or as little as you like. Sounds difficult, but as long as it's comfortable and nicely fitted, who cares? And here it is. Oh, not quite the clock I had in mind. But Sir John assures me that this is a working invisibility cloak, capable of hiding objects not from sight, but from radar. Radar was originally used to spot enemy aircraft well before they came in sight. And these days, it's also used for air traffic control and to track shipping. But Sir John's invisibility cloak might make radar's military use redundant. The central region here is hidden from view, so you, you can put anything in here that you want to hide. If I were an alien, a Martian with radar wave vision, then an object in the middle will be completely invisible. And also the cloak itself will be invisible. It will be as if this was thin air. This unique footage from one of the cloak's early tests shows the yellow and blue radar waves bending around the cloak before returning to their original path. Since the waves aren't changed or bounced away, the radar can't detect the circular object in the centre. It's effectively invisible. The device is still in the experimental stage, but the military are unsurprisingly very excited about the possibility of making aircraft invisible to radar. Meanwhile, Sir John is looking to the future. We have this technology to hide things from radar waves, but if we're talking about an optical cloak, that is more difficult, and it will certainly take at least 10 years to do that, but I believe it's possible if we devote enough resources to it. Well, I don't see those catching on. <laughs>